hello connected family welcome to connected training videos today in this video i'll be showing you or explaining you about google sheet triggers yes google sheet triggers are the one which is most requested by our users so i'll be showing you how you can actually connect google sheet triggers uh, with your whatsapp so let's go ahead and start doing that so for all that before you just log into or creating your workflow make sure you will be going into the apps page and search for google sheet and authorize your account so basically so just click on add account so this will go into redirect you to authorize your account inside connects it so basically you have to give permission for google sheet to access connects it to access your google sheet account so you have to click on your account and give permission so i already did that so this is how you have to authorize google sheet triggers google sheet inside connect it so now let's go ahead and build our workflow so and also you have to authorize whatsapp so i had shown you uh, how to authorize whatsapp cloud api account official whatsapp cloud api account in our previous video so please go ahead and watch that uh, the link will be there in the description below so now let's start by creating our workflow so i'll just name start by naming my connect google sheet to whatsapp I'll just search for Google Sheet as my trigger. So basically, I'm just taking a new case. So whenever there is a new row on Google Sheet trigger, so I'll be taking that. So basically, this will be the same for Google Forms as well. So you can use uh, the same trigger for Google Forms too. So here you will be creating your account. So selecting your account, just click on that and select the trigger so i'll be taking as whenever there is a new row created on google sheet so i'm going to take that as my trigger so just click on that and click on search for your spreadsheet so basically you will be selecting your sheet so which sheet you need a data from and you have to hit on test and review so there are two things you have to follow so one thing is when you go to your google sheet so that is basically, you know, like when you click on app scripts over here. So you have to make sure your app script is enabled inside your Google Sheet for the respective sheet you are actually taking. So like, you know, you have to go for script.google.com and click on settings. and you have to make sure your google app script api is on because connectsit actually uses google app scripts so you have to make sure that your google app scripts api is on so then only your trigger will going to work so this is the first uh, prerequisite you have to follow so make sure in the particular sheet in your respective sheet go to script.google.com and click on settings and then you have to make sure that google app script api is on so that's the one prerequisite so now before hitting test and review so you have to make sure that so and also we have to allow the pop-up for this connectsit app.connectsit.com so that is when the pop-up will going to come so these are the two prerequisites and when you hit on test and review so this will ask you for the column names which are present inside your google sheet so this is my google sheet it has name email and the phone number so it is asking when i am going to trigger uh, so when i should trigger for so if you want any mandatory field so you can just select only name or like you can want both to be filled so you can select like this or you can either select or for you know for all the like if at all it is not mandatory all fields and click on proceed so when you click on that it will go to an you know new tab so basically so it will be it will take some time and it will go for a new tab and make sure this tab will be open if you click on like you know like 
allow new tab for connectsheet app dot connectsheet dot com then only this screen will going to come so make sure guys so this is the one more prerequisite as i told one thing is you have to make the app script on api google api on and also the pop up and you have to give access to connectsheet now over here make sure you click on add trigger so if there is no trigger click on add trigger and then just select the function as on change so you can leave it there so and the editor is also there and you just can select from spreadsheet and select the event type as on change so basically whenever like there is a change in your spreadsheet so you will get the trigger to activate so you make sure you select this as on change so if it is your google forms so in this particular uh, sheet you have to select as on form submit so now i am using google sheet as trigger so i'm just selecting that as on change and then notify me so this is where the failure notification setting so you have to click on notify me immediately so otherwise you know like it will going to schedule your trigger so better you just select as notify me immediately so when you click on notify me immediately so automatically whenever there is a change on your google sheet it will going to trigger that particular web hook immediately and just click on save that's it and then it will ask you for permission again so just give the app script permission so don't worry about this so this is just google app script so click on allow and give permission for the same screen so this will be for all the app scripts so once you did that so you can see that guys at the respective date and time and there is an you know trigger has been added successfully so this is so this is you have to make sure this and click on close and when you go to connect it you will get the first row added inside connect it that is in your from your the google sheet so you can see that the first row is automatically fetched from connect it this is the successful i know like this is where you will be selected at, as like you know successful connection between your google sheet trigger otherwise you are you will not going to uh, like your sheet triggers will not going to work so make sure you follow this prerequisites so now i'll be sending a whatsapp message for this particular number or like you know whenever somebody fills a google form or whenever i added a new row created a new row inside my google sheet so i'm going to send a whatsapp message a template message basically so welcoming them with a greeting with an ebook or you know brochure uh, of my company so i can do that so just make sure you go here and for reference so you can use number formatter so number formatter why i'm just using number formatter is you know sometimes people will definitely going to use plus symbol or if they miss a country code all this so you can actually use this option to send in a correct format for your whatsapp so now let's go ahead and select format phone number option from the number formatter which is an inbuilt app of connectsheet and choose which for, for format so basically you know whatsapp actually go with this so no symbols international or no symbol national so you can just go ahead with that so where it has actually sending without symbol and also if, if you want an, a particular country so you can just select the particular country where it will going to add for that particular country code on to your number so if it is if you are international or national so just you can just leave it like that and then just connect the node like this and just click on at the red symbol so if it's there is a plus symbol it will automatically convert and then you know give the phone number and if click on validate so now i'm gonna use whatsapp so how to send whatsapp message and you know how to create your whatsapp cloud api i already created a video on my previous video so i had given the link in the description please go ahead and follow how to create an whatsapp for cloud api account on official release like by meta and also you can also have an you know in the same video how to create a permanent access token and also the template messages 
please do watch that video which will be in the link in the description so now i'm gonna select my account and select template message so i'll be sending a template message again to create a template message you can follow the same video so i'm going to select my template as greeting with browser i'm going to show you how that looks like so basically that template message look like this greeting with browser where it has an header with a document that is my pdf and you know it says dear register rakesh or the dear the name so basically it's a dynamic one and registration has been started for the site please visit and it also has a footer called sent via connects it and it has a cta it will go to my website link so now this is my template message this is how it goes and it's you you can see that it's in approved by whatsapp as well so now let's go here and select the same language on the same template so it asked me for two number which we got it from the phone now for formatter i'm going to add that so document url this is any invoice or any browser or anything so i'm just going to use my browser link over here url basically you have to type the url and you can give name so i'm going to give it as connect set browser and then this body field is the name of the person so that is the only uh, field we had given which is dynamic so i'm gonna connect that from the name field from google sheet itself so now i will hit on test and review so this will going to send a whatsapp message that is a test whatsapp message for this particular number so i'm just added over here you can see that so basically it says connects it brochure this is what the name we had given it for our file name and it give me a downloadable option and it says dear and the eric that is the dynamic name which we got it from google sheet and then it is saying registration has been started and it says footer this will be helpful for your branding where you can add your own names over there and a cta to visit my website so this is how you can actually connect google sheet trigger to whatsapp so now let's go ahead and publish my connect so yes our connects is published successfully so i'm going to add a new row inside google sheet so it has been published successfully so now let's go to google sheet and create a name so i'm going to be using my name that is rakesh mahesh and then my email id which is not mandatory and you are not using that and i'll be using my same number because i have to show the demo and also you know for the demo purpose i'll be using one more name that is john and i'll just be john at gmail.com and this time i'm gonna use plus symbols so just to show the difference between even though somebody has a number like this automatically it will be taken so i added the plus symbol now you can see the difference guys so in this i have added as just a number and in this case i added as plus symbol two so now let's go to i received a whatsapp message two messages you can see that is one is dear rakesh mayesh so this is one first name i just added in my google sheet and then the second name is john so even though i added a plus symbol automatically the number will be converted in inside our phone formatter that is an internal app of connexi and then it will deliver the right message to the right person hope you guys like this integration of you know how to set up google sheet and inside connects it and also you know whenever there is a new row on google sheet you can actually send a whatsapp message for all your users so if you have any questions on this particular integration do drop me on the comment section below and thanks for watching this video guys have a great day